Did you know that the key to transforming your life often lies in how you deal with challenges and setbacks? If you want to truly unlock your potential and shape a future you're proud of, you need to understand the powerful role that overcoming difficulties plays in this process. Many people believe that success is all about avoiding failure, but the truth is, it's about embracing and learning from it. The best approach to achieving personal growth and success isn't about sidestepping problems, but rather about confronting and overcoming them with resilience and insight. By reframing your past, learning from failures, and focusing on the present, you can turn obstacles into stepping stones for a brighter future. Avoid this mistake, thinking that overcoming challenges is just about getting through them. It's much more profound. It's about transforming the way you perceive and respond to adversity, using it as fuel for growth and empowerment. In this video, we'll explore how to harness the power of challenges, turn pain into power, and take actionable steps towards shaping the future you desire. Buckle up, because the journey to personal transformation starts here, and it's more powerful than you might think. 1. Weight of the Past We all carry the weight of the past with us. Sometimes it's a heavy burden, like a stone in our hearts. Other times, it's a subtle, nagging feeling in the back of our minds. Think about your past for a moment, the decisions you've made, the paths you've taken, and the ones you've missed. Maybe there's regret, moments you wish you could change, or opportunities you let slip by. We often find ourselves haunted by these memories, trapped in the what-ifs and if-onlys. For many of us, these thoughts become a prison of sorts, keeping us chained to a version of ourselves that no longer exists, we replay our mistakes, our failures, our missed chances, and it's as if we're stuck in a loop, unable to move forward. It's a relatable feeling, one that we all experience at different points in our lives. Whether it's a broken relationship, a career that didn't pan out the way we hoped, or simply the wear and tear of everyday life, the past has a way of clinging to us. This is especially true in a culture that often emphasizes success, achievement, and forward momentum. In the US, where the pace of life can be relentless, it's easy to feel like you're falling behind if you're not constantly moving forward. But here's the thing, our past doesn't have to define us. It doesn't have to be a burden. In fact, it can be a source of strength if we choose to see it that way. Take a moment to reflect on your own past. Yes, there were struggles, but there were also victories. There were moments of joy, of connection, of growth. And while it's natural to dwell on the things that went wrong, it's also important to acknowledge what went right. Every experience, good or bad, has shaped you into the person you are today. And that's something to be proud of. Yet it's not always easy to let go of the past, the pain, the regrets, they can be deeply ingrained in us. But what if you could change your relationship with those memories? What if, instead of seeing them as mistakes, you viewed them as lessons? What if, instead of feeling weighed down by them, you felt empowered by what you've overcome? This shift in perspective can be incredibly powerful. It allows you to move forward, not in spite of your past, but because of it. As we continue this journey together, we'll explore how to do just that. We'll dive into ways to reframe your past, to extract the wisdom from your experiences, and to use that knowledge to build a brighter future. Because your past is not a chain holding you back, it's the foundation upon which you can build the life you truly want. 2. Reframing the past now let's take a closer look at how we can reframe the past. This is where we start to shift our mindset, to see things differently. Think about a difficult experience you've had. Maybe it was a failure, a disappointment, or a painful loss. It's easy to see these moments as setbacks, as things that went wrong. But what if you could look at them from a different angle? What if, instead of seeing them as failures, 
you saw them as opportunities for growth. This idea of reframing is not about pretending that bad things didn't happen or trying to put a positive spin on everything. It's about finding meaning in your experiences, even the painful ones. It's about recognizing that every challenge you've faced has taught you something valuable. And it's about using that knowledge to move forward with more confidence, more resilience, and more wisdom. For example, let's say you went through a tough breakup. At the time, it might have felt like the end of the world. You might have questioned yourself, your worth, and your ability to find love again. But now, looking back, can you see how that experience shaped you? Maybe it taught you what you truly want in a partner, or maybe it showed you how strong you really are. By reframing that experience, you're able to see it not as a failure, but as a stepping stone on your journey. The same goes for other areas of life. Maybe you lost a job, and at the time it felt like a huge setback. But now, perhaps you can see how it pushed you in a new direction, one that ultimately led to better opportunities. Or maybe you made a mistake that had serious consequences. But through that mistake, you learned something important that you wouldn't have learned otherwise. Reframing the past is about changing the narrative you tell yourself. Instead of seeing yourself as a victim of circumstances, you start to see yourself as someone who has overcome challenges, who has grown stronger through adversity, and who is capable of achieving great things. This shift in perspective can be incredibly empowering. It's also important to acknowledge that this process takes time. It's not something that happens overnight. But with practice, you can start to change the way you think about your past. You can start to see it not as a weight holding you down, but as a source of strength and resilience. And as you do, you'll find that the future starts to look a lot brighter. Because the truth is, you are not defined by your past. You are defined by how you choose to move forward. And by reframing your past, you're giving yourself the freedom to create a future that's full of possibility. 3. Learning from failure. Failure is something that every one of us has experienced. It's a universal aspect of life, and yet it's something that we often fear and avoid at all costs. But what if failure wasn't something to be feared? What if instead it was something to be embraced? Think about the times you've failed, whether it was a small setback or a major disappointment. Maybe it was an exam you didn't pass, a promotion you didn't get, or a personal goal you didn't achieve. In those moments, it's natural to feel defeated, to question your abilities, and to wonder if you'll ever succeed. But here's the thing. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of it. Every failure you've experienced has brought you one step closer to your goals. It's taught you what doesn't work, so you can focus on what does. It's revealed your weaknesses, so you can turn them into strengths. And it's shown you that you're capable of picking yourself up, even when things don't go as planned. When we shift our perspective on failure, we start to see it not as a sign of defeat, but as an opportunity for growth. It's a chance to learn, to improve, and to get closer to the person we want to be. And this is something that's deeply relatable, because no matter who you are or where you come from, you faced failure in some form. It's a shared experience, one that unites us all. In American culture, where success is often celebrated and failure is stigmatized, it can be difficult to embrace this mindset. But it's important to remember that every successful person has faced failure at some point. It's not about avoiding failure. It's about learning from it and using it to fuel your future success. So the next time you face a setback, remember that it's not the end of the road, it's just a detour, one that can lead you to even greater things. Embrace your failures, learn from them, and keep moving forward. Because with every failure, you're getting closer to the life you truly want. As we continue this journey, we'll explore how to turn failure into a stepping stone for success. We'll look at practical ways to bounce back from setbacks, to learn from your mistakes, 
and to keep pushing forward no matter what obstacles you face. Because the path to success is not a straight line, it's full of twists and turns, ups and downs, and that's what makes the journey so rewarding. The power of present focus. We've spent time reflecting on the past, but now it's time to shift our focus to the present. There's a saying that goes, the past is history, the future is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's a reminder that the only moment we truly have is the one we're in right now. Yet, how often do we find ourselves distracted, worrying about the future, or dwelling on the past while the present moment slips away? In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle, to always be thinking about the next thing on our to-do list, or replaying past events in our minds. But when we do this, we miss out on the beauty of the present moment. We miss the chance to fully experience life as it's happening. The power of present focus is something that can transform your life in profound ways. When you learn to be fully present, you start to notice the small things, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the sound of laughter, the feeling of contentment that comes from simply being. You start to appreciate the here and now, instead of constantly chasing after what's next. Being present also allows you to handle challenges with more grace and resilience. When you're focused on the present, you're not weighed down by the past or anxious about the future. You're able to respond to situations as they arise with a clear mind and an open heart. This is a skill that can serve you well in all areas of life, whether it's in your relationships, your career, or your personal growth. But being present is not always easy. It takes practice and intention. One way to cultivate present focus is through mindfulness, the practice of bringing your attention to the present moment without judgment. This can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths and tuning into your surroundings, or it can be a more formal practice, like meditation. Another way to stay present is by setting aside time each day to disconnect from distractions. This could mean turning off your phone, stepping away from your computer, and simply being with yourself. It's a chance to reconnect with what's important to you, to check in with yourself, and to recharge. By focusing on the present, you're not only improving your well-being, but you're also setting yourself up for future success. Because when you're fully engaged in the present moment, you're more productive, more creative, and more fulfilled. You're living life to the fullest, instead of just going through the motions. As we continue this journey, we'll explore more ways to cultivate present focus, to stay grounded in the here and now, and to find joy in the present moment. Because the present is where life happens, and it's where you have the power to make lasting change. 5. Breaking the chains of expectation. We all have expectations of ourselves, of others, and of the world around us. These expectations can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, they can motivate us to strive for more, to reach our goals, and to become the best version of ourselves. On the other hand, they can also weigh us down, trapping us in a cycle of stress, disappointment, and frustration. Think about the expectations you carry with you. Maybe they come from society, your family, or even from within yourself. You're expected to be successful, to have it all together, to meet certain milestones by a certain age. These expectations can feel like chains, binding you to a life that may not even be your own. But here's the truth. These expectations are not set in stone. You have the power to break free from them, to set your own standards, and to define success on your own terms. This is not about abandoning your goals or settling for less. It's about recognizing that you have the right to live your life in a way that feels authentic to you. Breaking the chains of expectation starts with letting go of the need for approval. It's about realizing that you don't have to live up to anyone else's standards. You don't have to fit into a mold or follow a predetermined path. 
you have the freedom to chart your own course, to pursue your passions, and to create a life that's true to who you are. This is a powerful realization, one that can change the way you approach everything in life. When you let go of unrealistic expectations, you free yourself from unnecessary stress and pressure. You give yourself permission to make mistakes, to take risks, and to follow your own intuition. It's also important to recognize that breaking free from expectations doesn't mean you'll never face challenges or setbacks, but it does mean that you'll face them with a sense of purpose and clarity, knowing that you're living life on your own terms. As we explore this concept further, we'll look at practical ways to identify and let go of the expectations that are holding you back. We'll dive into how to set boundaries, prioritize your own needs, and embrace the freedom that comes with living authentically. Because when you break the chains of expectation, you open the door to a life that's full of possibility, creativity, and true fulfillment. Six, shape your future. Now that we've explored the importance of reframing the past, focusing on the present, and breaking free from expectations, it's time to turn our attention to the future. The future is a blank canvas, waiting for you to paint your masterpiece. It's a space of endless possibilities, where your dreams can become a reality. But shaping your future is not just about dreaming big, it's about taking action, making intentional choices, and staying committed to your goals. It's about recognizing that the future is not something that just happens to you. It's something that you create. This is where your power lies. You have the ability to shape your future, to design a life that aligns with your values, your passions, and your purpose. But this requires more than just wishful thinking. It requires clarity, focus, and determination. The first step in shaping your future is to get clear on what you want. This might sound simple, but it's not always easy. It requires introspection, self-awareness, and a willingness to dream beyond your current circumstances. What are your deepest desires? What kind of life do you want to live? What impact do you want to have on the world? Once you have a clear vision of your future, the next step is to create a plan. This is where you turn your dreams into actionable steps. It's about setting goals, creating a roadmap, and staying committed to the journey, even when the road gets tough. But shaping your future is not just about setting goals. It's about staying adaptable. Life is unpredictable, and there will be times when things don't go according to plan. But that's okay. The key is to stay flexible, to adjust your course when needed, and to keep moving forward, no matter what obstacles you face. As you shape your future, it's also important to surround yourself with people who support and uplift you. Your environment plays a crucial role in your success, so make sure you're surrounded by positivity, encouragement, and inspiration. Finally, remember that shaping your future is a lifelong process. It's not something that happens overnight, and it's not something that's ever truly finished. It's a journey of growth, learning, and evolution. And as you continue on this path, you'll discover that the future you create is even more amazing than you ever imagined. 7. Turning pain into power Pain is a universal experience, whether it's physical, emotional, or psychological, we all go through it at some point in our lives. It's a part of being human, and it's something that can shape us in profound ways. But pain doesn't have to define us. In fact, it can be one of our greatest sources of strength. Turning pain into power is about taking the experiences that have hurt you and using them as fuel for growth, resilience and transformation. It's about finding meaning in your suffering and using it to propel yourself forward rather than letting it hold you back. This is not an easy process, but it's one that can lead to incredible personal growth. When you face your pain head on, you start to see it for what it truly is, a teacher, a guide, a catalyst for change. 
and as you work through it, you begin to uncover a strength within yourself that you may not have known was there. Think about a time in your life when you experienced pain. Maybe it was a loss, a heartbreak, or a failure. It was likely one of the most difficult times in your life, but it was also a time of immense growth. You learned, you adapted, and you emerged stronger on the other side. Turning pain into power is about recognizing that your struggles don't define you, they shape you, and they can shape you into someone who is more resilient, more compassionate, and more determined. This is something that's deeply relatable, because we've all been there, we've all faced challenges that seemed insurmountable at the time, but somehow we found a way through, and it's this ability to turn pain into power that allows us to keep moving forward, no matter what life throws our way. As we continue this journey, we'll explore practical ways to turn your pain into power. We'll look at how to process your emotions, find meaning in your experiences, and use them as a springboard for growth. Because when you learn to harness the power of your pain, you become unstoppable. 8. Practical Steps Now that we've explored the concepts of reframing the past, focusing on the present and shaping the future, let's dive into some practical steps you can take to put these ideas into action. 1. Reframe your past. Take time to reflect on your past experiences, both good and bad. Write down what you've learned from each of them. Practice gratitude for the lessons you've gained, even from difficult situations. This can help you see your past in a more positive light. Challenge negative narratives about your past. Instead of thinking, I failed, reframe it as, I learned something valuable. 2. Cultivate present focus. Start a daily mindfulness practice, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. This can help you stay grounded in the present moment. Create a digital detox routine. Set aside time each day to disconnect from technology and be fully present in your surroundings. Practice active listening in your conversations. Focus on truly hearing what the other person is saying without getting distracted by your own thoughts. 3. Break free from expectations. Identify the expectations that are holding you back. Are they coming from society, your family or yourself? Practice setting boundaries. This might mean saying no more often or prioritizing your own needs over others' expectations. Embrace the idea that you don't have to have it all figured out. Life is a journey and it's okay to take your time finding your own path. 4. Shape your future. Set specific, measurable goals for the future. Break them down into smaller steps and create a timeline for achieving them. Stay flexible in your approach. If something isn't working, don't be afraid to adjust your plan. Surround yourself with positive influences, people, environments and activities that support your growth and inspire you to keep moving forward. 5. Turn pain into power. Allow yourself to feel your emotions fully, rather than suppressing them. This is the first step in processing and healing from pain. Find meaning in your pain. Ask yourself, what has this experience taught me? How can I use it to grow? Use your experiences to help others. Sometimes the best way to turn pain into power is by using what you've learned to support and uplift those around you. These practical steps are just the beginning. As you continue to apply these concepts to your life, you'll start to see the transformation that's possible. You'll begin to feel more empowered, more resilient, and more in control of your own destiny. 9. Overcoming Challenges Every journey towards personal growth is marked by challenges, and overcoming them is a testament to your resilience and strength. Challenges are not just obstacles, they are opportunities for growth and transformation. They test your limits, push you out of your comfort zone, 
and ultimately shape you into a stronger, more capable individual. Reflect on your past challenges. Think about the moments when you felt overwhelmed, when it seemed like everything was stacked against you. It's easy to view these times with frustration or even defeat. However, it's essential to recognize that each challenge was a stepping stone towards becoming the person you are today. The struggles you've faced have forged your character, sharpened your skills, and taught you invaluable lessons. Consider how you handle these difficulties. Do you retreat and let them define your limitations, or do you confront them head-on, seeking ways to overcome and learn from them? It's in the face of adversity that you truly discover your strength and resilience. Embracing challenges means accepting that growth often comes from discomfort and setbacks. Think about a significant challenge you've overcome. Reflect on how it felt at the time and how your perspective has shifted since then. The discomfort and struggle you experienced were necessary for your growth. These challenges have given you tools, insights and experiences that you wouldn't have gained otherwise. They've taught you perseverance, problem solving and the importance of resilience. The path to overcoming challenges involves shifting your mindset. Instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable barriers, see them as opportunities for growth. Every obstacle you face is a chance to prove your strength, adapt your strategies and push your limits. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty that come with challenges, knowing that they are integral to your journey. As you face new challenges, remind yourself of the strength and resilience you've built from past experiences. Approach each obstacle with a mindset of curiosity and determination and view setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember, overcoming challenges is not just about reaching a destination, but about becoming a stronger, more capable person in the process. 10. Call to action. At the heart of personal transformation lies a call to action, a prompt to take charge of your life, make conscious decisions, and actively shape your future. This moment is about more than just acknowledging the need for change. It's about committing to the actions that will drive that change. Think about the insights and strategies you've learned throughout this journey. How will you put them into practice? The theories and ideas are only as powerful as the actions you take to implement them. It's time to stop procrastinating and start making tangible changes in your life. Begin by setting clear, actionable goals. These should be specific, measurable and achievable steps that will lead you towards your desired outcomes. For example, if you've recognized the need to cut out negative energy from your life, start by identifying and addressing the sources of negativity. This might involve having difficult conversations, setting boundaries or seeking support from positive influences. Next, take deliberate action towards these goals. Break them down into smaller tasks that you can tackle daily or weekly. This makes the process less overwhelming and more manageable. Celebrate each small victory along the way to maintain motivation and momentum. Remember, the journey of personal growth is ongoing. Regularly reassess your goals, reflect on your progress and adjust your actions as needed. Stay committed to your vision and be flexible in your approach. Life is dynamic and your strategies might need to evolve as you grow. Finally, embrace the process. Personal transformation is not a destination, but a continuous journey. Be patient with yourself, stay focused on your goals and remain open to learning and growth. Your commitment to action will drive your progress and shape your future. So, take a deep breath and commit to making that first step today. Whether it's setting a goal, taking action, or reflecting on your journey, now is the time to act. Your future self is counting on you to make the changes necessary for growth and success. Embrace the call to action and start shaping the life you envision. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, drop a 100 in the comments 
to show you're among the rare few who see things through to the finish. Your dedication to this journey sets you apart from the crowd and marks the beginning of real transformation. If you're ready to take charge of your life and turn your potential into reality, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Joining our community is your next step towards serious change and continuous growth. Let's build a future where you not only dream big, but also achieve those dreams.